Hello ladies and gentlemen, Seiko Starcraft here with one of his amateur BS games. Just finished playing this, I'm a little antsy still, this was probably one of the closest, most hard fought games I've ever played. Up against Von Vlins? Vlins! It's Swedish. The Zerg player up in the top left. Uh, I did go at this game considering that I was going to play Bio. So you're going to be able to see that I think that for once I looked at a game and said I probably would not have beat this if I didn't play Bio. It's a longer game. I'm going to speed it up at the beginning. People hate on me for speeding it up, but this was a long game. Going to wall in. I know I'm playing against a Zerg player. I am going to be going for a gas soon. That's not because I'm going to go for Shawnee's usual Mass Reaper, Mass Hellion, try to win right away games. I'm actually going to use this as a way to expand and put some pressure on. This guy that I'm playing up against, didn't know until after the fact, is a, a former Diamond League player and masters in team-based games. Uh, not sure why he's in gold, but once again, tons of people got pushed down into gold. So this is somebody that I'm pretty sure is a bit ahead of me when it comes to StarCraft. And I'm excited to see it, because he's playing the Zerg, and I'm playing the Terran. And this is how you just get better, you evolve. I accidentally queued up a second Reaper, I didn't mean to do that, and I was wondering why my money all of a sudden disappeared. That's because I was trying to hit the R button as quickly as possible when that barracks popped up. If I sound antsy, it's because I'm drinking gin, and I was playing some incredibly difficult StarCraft games. Mm. Yes. Orbital's done, did cancel that other uh, bad boy, he will see it come over making a marine after that, and I plan on going for an expansion after the fact. And you can see this guy's unit control here throughout this game will, will show off the level of talent that he has. So I see that he's making some workers, I'm gonna try and snipe them down, clutch extractor, I'm gonna keep hunting him, the queen's still a bit off, another extractor, this is kinda of funny actually, he's playing whack-a-mole. <laughs> I think he ran out of things to make. Uh, but this is good. It's taxing his APM. I make spanning behind this. Almost lose this guy. Not quite. I did force him to keep one extractor, though. Let's see if he forgets about these other ones. He does, actually. And I'm pretty sure he didn't mean to get those extractors. So a little bit of an error from him. I might as well keep the crawler. You don't know what's coming. Uh, but he's not going to be using those extractors anytime soon, I don't think. Spanning nicely behind this. I see an overlord that he forgot about. Probably not expecting me to actually go for this here. When do I realize that this Overlord's here? It should be pretty soon. I'll have a drink while I wait. Mm -hmm. Yes, come on. Lions is actually responding very well. He is not, you know, panicking and getting out a bunch of Zerglings or speed. He's got that one crawl at the front. And he's actually getting a third hatch. We can see down on this side. So, quite nice sort of him. I'm going to keep running around with my Reaper just to scout now. I see a free Overlord. I was actually very happy about that. Once you, and the point is I ran past the Overlord, so that way you would have to run over my Marines if we try to get away. And I do end up picking it off before I can really see anything. Behind this I'm going into Bio, and I almost cancelled that and decided to go Mech. Uh, but, I decided I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to come in with the Reaper, just uses that as another scout to see what's going on. I will see the timing of this third hatch, it's almost finished. Up into the base. I'm hoping to be able to see a bit. I see the timing of the lair. But not too much else other than that. So, keeping up on the economy here. He's going to have a pretty good lead over me, obviously. Getting down another gas. Because my plan is to go for double Marauder, double Hellion, and try to go after the third hatchery. Nice little timing. I want to get there before the, uh, the Mutalisks are out. We'll see if I can manage to pull that off. I'll speed it up now because we don't really talk to each other for a while. Good creep spread, and I love his use of static defenses everywhere. And a lot of people will say, well, that's such an amateur thing to do, it's a waste of minerals. But if you get these things down, you just become so much stronger. So to encourage Zerg players, when you have that money, you've got you know a pretty good confidence setup. If you get these things down, you're just going to be pretty stable. So there's my army. Handful of Marauders, handful of Marines, and all these Hellions in play. This is an army designed specifically to kill the hatchery. And interestingly enough for him, if he didn't have these down, he'd probably be in a lot worse shape. Spire is on the way. I scanned and saw the timing of the Spire. So I know I've got like a limited threshold here. Gonna kill a bit of creep. Which is important. I killed the active creep tumors. 
He didn't see the rest of my army there, though. As soon as he pulls back his queen, I don't get baited into those, but I see he's got a ton of spine crawlers. This was really weird to me. I actually did not expect this at all. Most Zerg players don't have a ton of stack defenses down. Keeping the Hellions to take care of the light units. Got a queen. These Zerglings don't have speed yet, so they're actually getting run over pretty good. Behind this, I'm making Widow Mines and actually another command center as well. Try to get these when my Hellions get stuck. Got a couple of workers there. Nothing too big. I'm just going to come and condense right over top of this hatch. The plan is to just slowly take it out. I'm not going to keep attacking past this. All I want to do is really kill off this hatchery. And that's going to give me a pretty good lead as I make command centers behind this. So we see both of our monies, well, mostly my money, is getting a bit out of control as he makes a bunch of mutilisks. I should have retreated probably right now with all this stuff, uh, but it took a little bit longer than I probably should have. Kind of a nice egg to pick off, but it's pretty hard to kill morphing eggs unless you have some pretty strong units there. I'm macroing behind this, and that's why it's taking a bit longer. There's only a handful of marines in here. I did try to use the marines to kill off this one mutilisk, but we can see that the rest of my army here, unfortunately, is going to get a little caught up. Did I get him? I didn't. So, it's going to delay a bit. I have a lot of missile turrets now. Widow mine's in good position, but I did cancel his base. And I actually have a fourth command center going down after this. Speed it up again, because now it's uh, just him kind of hanging out, getting his hatcheries back in order. He's expanding twice. He might as well. I'm, don't play bio very much. You're going to have to forgive me. My production is terrible. Killed off an overlord just before he could take over my base. Now I'm going to move Widow Mines all over the map just for vision, get a little bit of damage in. We see he's got a big pile of Zerglings around to kind of control the map. Hellions over here. I didn't notice there was a creep tumor. It's a bit of a mistake by me. I did at least manage to kill a few Zerglings before they went down. Double factory. This is more... I was thinking about getting tanks. But this is more for me to just get all mass, mass widow mines at some point. Double starport. And this is one of the most economically advantageous positions I've been in. In a, in a long time. I generally don't play this kind of way. So I actually have three bases down, and it's really surprising to me how good just having three bases are. This one Reaper is kind of useless here. Not that I mean it's good, because I don't know that having three bases is better than two, but knowing that you can actually take it fairly safely if you play in the right way. More production facilities. Bunkers going down to be able to deflect. And neither of us really have the watchtowers in play right now. I feel like I'm in a vulnerable position. Like, I feel I'm behind at this point. Uh, just because I know my macro sucks. Lots of Overseers. I like this a lot. He's probably very used to playing against Bio Widowmine. Mm. We can see that my upgrades aren't very good. He's quite a bit ahead on his upgrades. Got a lot of his unit upgrades out. He does need to get his Overlord speed on the way. But now I'm actually producing a good chunk of army. And this is actually really important, I've noticed. Building your buildings as a Terran player in ways that will reduce the ability for you to be hit and run by. I'm actually got tons of money, so I'm going to build more command centers. This is a bit newbie-ish. I didn't know how to spend my money, so I'm actually going to throw down tons of stuff. I'm just going to hunker down uh, and assume weather the storm of the huge Zerg pressure that's going to come. This is how I used to play Zerg as well. Every new base, three spines, one spore, just to keep you in there. We'll speed it up again because we're seemingly not doing anything. There's his big army. He's not that far ahead of me. It's a pretty good sized army though. He's focused on mass, mass mutas. And I've not played against this as a Terran player. Or I've usually lost to mutas really fast. So I haven't had to play against it very long. Taking the watchtowers now. It's helping me out a fair bit. Widow mines spread out all over the place. And this mutas are going to come. And he's got so many mutas that even with all these missile turrets... It's not going to make too big of a difference. A few Zerglings running around, doing what they can. But we're going to see that his ability, he almost one-shots missile turrets. So even though I think this is awesome, it's not doing me that well. And I have to come back home. you got to watch your medibacks. They do enjoy running ahead of everything else. Killed a fair bit of Mutalisks there. This base is fairly mined down, so I wasn't too worried. Marines come back in. We managed to grab a couple. Widow mine. Not in the best position. Get some damage off. So he got a bit of damage done. How many workers he got? He got 12. 
So, I mean, it's... Might as well. Widow Mines, off in good spots. Trying to take all the map I can. I don't know why these guys are hanging out with that Widow Mine. It's a bit of a death sentence, if you ask me. But, managed to get quite a few Muta kills. And he's expanding, taking over the map. For me, I'm likely going to be doing the same. I do see that there's that one Muta Burrow down there. So I'll move down with my army. He's been much better at paying attention to his upgrades. I do have double engineering bay and an armory. I just haven't noticed to come back and deal with it. This is me and my amateur level style play trying to deal with this stuff, right? Yeah. Seven kills in that Widow Mine. Pretty decent. I hate when you do that, when you accidentally pick up in the meta back. It takes so much longer for you to drop everything down again. If we look at the unit scout, he is... Not that far ahead of me in workers. I'm actually very happy. I've got up to 64 workers. That's one of the best I think I've done without really mentally paying attention to it. 12 kills on that Widow Mine. Nice. He does need to get his Overseer speed. His Zerglings are running way ahead of all of his detection. Going for the double command center down here. And just macroing up. I'm not in a panic. I'm not in a rush. I'm ahead in supply. And that blows my mind. I, once again, I thought I was way behind at this point. What I'm going to do is kind of pressure this base. Leaving the Hellion, well, I want to leave him on the watchtower. Regroup this. Where's his army? Oh, his army's way back at home. See, now I'm going to slow this down for a second. I know that he's got Banelings. Those are Banelings, those are Zerglings. Bunch of Banelings. So what I want to do is keep all my Marauders to tank that damage and help all the Marines fall back. Not a huge army, um, but this should allow me to at least do pretty good damage to everything here. I probably could have focused on the hatch. You can see that most of the Marauders that are on that side take most of the hits. So as I lose most of this army here, and I run out of there, but you can see that I actually stuck in there and did quite a bit of damage just because the Marauders were at the front to take most of the Banelings. Man, we've got sick banks, both of us. I got no gas, though. I have no gas to make these into planetaries. A bit of the problem I found there. These... Widow Mines aren't in a good spot. What the hell are you guys doing? Oh, got the shot off. That's nice. This is really cheeky. Like, I didn't realize this would be as effective as that is. But that's a pretty hard thing to run up against as a Zerg player. He doesn't have any Banelings left, so now it's about me getting my army together, getting into the game. Sports select. Get in the game. It's nice that he run his Zerglings by. He just drags some of the Widow Mine shots. His Mutas, I mean, again, their attack upgrades. My Marines are still 1 1. I haven't even started 2 2. That's how newbie, newbie ish, sucky ish I am. Gas going down, planetary going up, missile turrets just to slow down his advance. If we look at the income tab, I've actually got a slight lead on him in minerals, but in gas, he's quite a bit ahead. And as a Zerg player going for Mutas, kind of needs it. Speeding it up again. Production. This is a nice line. It might seem like it hurts a lot. But this is actually very, very important for me, as I discover later, to being able to cut off the direction of his attacks. If you hear funny movements, because my cats are playing around near the microphone. Widow Mines, once again, going everywhere. Just to be able to control space. Coming over here, immediately putting down the spine crawlers, and that'll stop me from doing simple drops that kill his base off. Well, lots of Widow Mines in position. Man, I love Widow Mines. How many widow mine? They got 19 kills. That was a very satisfying widow mine. I come up here at the perfect time to be able to stop this. He's actually getting enduring locusts because it looks like he maybe wants to make some sort of swarmless transition. But so many marines though. 2-2, two, two, well at least plus one attack is on the way. And that's and I think if my upgrades were done sooner, if I paid more attention to my upgrades, I probably would have actually done a lot better in this game. But because I didn't. It's actually going to hurt me a lot. I probably would have killed to that Muta flock a lot faster. Killed off the space pretty good. I scan ahead to see what's happening, and I don't see any Banelings here. And that's very important to me. If I don't see Banelings, I know that my Marines are a little bit safer to attack. I don't want to go into his spine crawlers too much. I want to try to bait his Mutas to come back and take me on their own ground here. I did drop out that meta back, which is nice. And behind this thing, still making, you know, 10 rings at a time, plus two attacks about to finish. And I am moving a command center over there. He's got Burrow, and I'm sure that he does have Burrow, because he burrowed on the other ones. 
So I'm just gonna have to wait a second. Looks like he's pretty close to committing. If I pulled in more Marines, I probably would do better. My Marine count's pretty low right now. So I'm doing something very risky. The pickup evac. Very risky. They can outrun the Mutalisks, but only for a period of time. So I'm trying to catch up with the rest of my army here. He will get one of my medevacs, two of them, but not the ones with the units in it. So I do manage to hang on for the time being. And now I'm mining. I'll be over here soon to clean that up. This base is finished, but it's not really counting for anything yet. So supply-wise, it's just about max. Tons of mutas. Trying to get some ultralisks out, which I think is a great strategy. I don't know what the ventricle sax is going to help them out with. But because I'm going so marine heavy, I think if he actually did a huge switch into ultralisks, he probably could have just thrown me off. Widow Mines. Widow Mines. There's some Banelings in there. I do manage to pick those off nicely. He will go through all these Marines. I mean, it's not super cost effective, but he just can crush through everything. Let me see behind this. More Marines, plus three attack, plus two armor. So I'm going to lose this base. I mean, there's no way around that. For me, getting out more Widow Mines is going to be very important. I like this Overseer flock as well. A lot of the times you'll see people only get maybe two or three of them out, as opposed to a whole pile. And you can lose them and then you're in a tough spot. Mm -hmm. Scan, see that base. I'm going to go over and try and snipe it. This is a really interesting back and forth piece. We're both attacking on very specific fronts here. How many units, how many workers is he at now? 47. So I've actually managed to kill his worker count down a lot. He's got such a huge bank that maybe he's okay with that. So I'm going to lose this army again. More units coming in behind this. Going to grab a few stray guys. But this is where I see the Ultralisks are in play now. And I'm going to lose two for the Metavacs because it's what cool kids do. This is a really tough spot for him to push, push into though. We have Widow Mines in play. Planetary Fortresses. Nice. Shooting down that. Now, Marauders are really good against the Ultralisks, and he hasn't invested in the upgrades yet for all of his Ultralisks. So my Marauders are actually going to do a lot of damage against this. Probably could have kept going after those guys. Very expensive. Would have been worthwhile to take out. Lots of Widow Mines. Keeping all my fronts open. And now I'm just coming back here and collecting. And this whole game, me trying to... Mi I can commentate during this fine. But me trying to micro through this game has been really tough. Trying to stay on top of this. Trying to expand, trying to keep income going. Because I, I mined out here. Mined out here. Just about mined out here. And this base has been taken out. So I'm going to move another command center over. I'm trying to sneak a sneaky sneak base over here. He's got a good spidey sense on this side. Speed and upgrades on my side. I'm going to do really good against this. He does cancel that base. But I do manage to do a good chunk of damage to his army. Ultralisks, once again, I think would have been great. I think going for Infestors probably been better for him here to lock this stuff down. Probably put him in a better spot. And Banelings as well. He seems to be really good about his Zerglings, but his Banelings not as much kiteness on the way as well. <laughs> oh, yes. This one Medivac. All right, I went for a drop earlier. They got totally shut down by his Mutalisks. It's the risk you take to play that kind of game. More Vatavax, more Marauders. I see the Ultralisks. And good thing for him is he's not making more. If he's forcing me to make Marauders, that actually means I have less units to kill his giant Muta flock. Trying to catch some of his stuff off guard. And I'm actually going to like bum rush this base. There's tons of money here still. What I'm going to do is just kill it really fast and get out of there. Now, unfortunately, he still keeps attacking me. Gonna run back to the safety of my planetary fortress. Missile turrets. Still driving back a bit. I wish I had some more widow mines over here. So good good job. Snipe that base. This one's up and running again now. Units wise, he's down to 44 workers, so he's not really been keeping up with that. But he is maxed, so it's giving him a bigger army by having less workers. Alright. 
cat was playing with my webcam and I would have to beat its ass. Oh no, action. Snipes my command center and that sucked. Once again, I don't have that many mining bases, so every time he kills one of those, it's pretty crappy for me. This base got sniped. Lots of money here, too. It would have been very worthwhile for him to start getting down more hatcheries. See this? And I found out that I have a medevac left over. That was really cute. More Widow Mines now. I decided that Widow Mines are going to be one of my ways back into this game. I like how that medevac got discovered again just in time to get killed off. Killed off all of those um, Widow Mines, unfortunately. The Ultralisks just melt because I have so many Marauders in here. But he does just plow through this army again. At least I have a bunker and some missile turrets. He might have been able to take it on. He might have been able to commit to kill that stuff. Look at all those workers doing nothing. Need more marines. More marines. The fact that I killed those was really good. My marauders are still alive. 3-2. Three, 3-3 two, three, three should be starting here soon. One shot got off and hit an overseer. How crappy is that? And this base is getting mined down. So his, his economy is actually pretty bad. If we look at his income... Okay, we're both pretty bad at income. Just... But, you know, he's actually making a few more workers now. That's nice. So I need more marines out. He just keeps hitting me with this giant, like, block of mutalisks. So I've got to keep building more marines here. But I figure the splash damage... Ugh. I don't even know the guy's burrowed. The splash damage of the Widow Mines, I think, is going to be very important to me. The space is still pretty weak. And this is actually really crappy for me. This is a good move for him, actually, to go take this out. Good hit on these. So these guys are done. But I'm going to kill his base at the same time at the north. So we're keeping it somewhat stable. And now I've got another base down here. These... PFs, once again, are going to be so good. It looks like he's ready to commit into attacking me. But here's where this wall of barracks becomes so important. And like I said, I didn't even realize it at the time how vital this would be. But all those Ultralisks can't get to me. So they just get mowed down. I am mining again. What? One random ultra Not Ultralisk. Swarm host in there. Swarm most transition, I don't think it'd been worthwhile. I've got all the upgrades and my DPS would have just rolled through everything. Income wise, oh wow. Look at all that income. Power of the mules. Um, four times his income and one dropping. It's alright, you know? Once again, not a lot of actual marines in this. But his ultralisks will get shredded. Kill the ultralisk. So this base is close to dying, but I made a ton of marines now. So he's killing off the workers, but I will keep the command center alive at least. Ultralisk dies, marines drive it off. Twelve more mutas on the way. Does he get any armor upgrades for these guys? One, one. See, if you're putting that much money into it, I think you'd get more. Look at all my gas. What the shit? Alright, because nothing else is mining but gas. Oh, this guy's still alive. What a jerk. I saw this, like, random locusts down here. I have no scans left, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have killed it. So, we'll corner off that army. That's fine. Is this where I go for the attack, or is this where I go for the defend? Tons and tons of mutalisks. I expected him to actually bum rush me again, so that's why I put those in place there. So while he's attacking me, it's a bit of base tradey. I figured this is the time that I can go after killing him. And actually killing this Ultralisk Den is really critical. I did get to kill him now, right? Yes. So yeah, he'll kill some stuff. But in the grand scheme of things, I'm just doing damage as well. Whoa. Banelings. Tons of Marines. I thought I was going to be able to save this. But no. This is mostly a Marauder army, and all my medevacs are just spent on energy. He's going to come right north to try and deal with that, and unfortunately my marine's in a terrible spot to assist my army. This is so shitty for me. This is so much army, too. So I do uh, try to stim and run away. 
that's a really bad use of his banelings, though. He will kill off all those marauders and their supplies even. But what he really needs those is against this, the big marine ball. Lots of Widow Mines. He does see that with his Overseer, so he's not going to go after it. But there's not many SCVs down here anyways. What, what are your units at anyways? I've got four SCVs. How many has he got? 35. Man, that's funny. I've got four SCVs. That's, that's the state of this game. He lost all of his detection in that one bout, though. And he's down to one page of mutas. At least I kept my medevacs alive here. Nine medevacs, it's going to help a lot. Kill his ultralist den, so I know that I can just make marines and not have to worry about marauders. <laughs> and there goes the big square block running across to help out. What the hell are you doing there? Oh, I made an alien for. So I got this base up and going in. Lots of money there. Kill all the stuff on the north. Widow mines all over the place. In case he goes for some sort of bum rush. And it's very important for me because I got four mules. Like a lot of money worth in that one command center. So now it's very critical for me. I actually have to go in there and do some damage and keep things stabilized. I didn't get Widow Mine Burrow, unfortunately. We'll kill off this command center. This command center. Hatchery. Triggers a couple of those Widow Mines. So many 3-3 three, three Marines, though. 2-3 Marines. So he will end up losing this. That's too bad. His Banelings might have cleaned this up. Even if his Banelings did clean that up, um, he was just about broke. I was still mining on the... What the hell happened to this base? I don't know, but I had this base built to mine. Great game. This is one of the most intense games I've ever played. Shout out to Vlins from Sweden uh, for what I thought was a really great matchup. Psycho Starcraft, thanks everybody for watching, and we'll talk with you later.